Hey, what's going on guys? Coleman here today. Um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on making it look like it's raining outside and um, try to put together a couple images and stock footage together. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so as you can kind of see if I zoom in here, you can see some of the rain raindrops kind of falling down and things like that all right so we're gonna go ahead and make a new composition so we have some stock footage and uh, we have this picture of an old house and some boarded up windows so go ahead and click on this and hit enter on your keyboard we can go ahead and type window layer so all right go ahead and click on your mask tool let's zoom in here and uh, if you kind of hold and drag you can make a nice curved type of shape and you have to pull that other one back in so it doesn't distort your next connection line all right so let's go down to our masks and change this to subtract. So let's go go ahead and do the same for these windows as well. Now I'm doing this somewhat quickly, but if you're trying to make this a little bit more professional, I would definitely take your time but for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna try and uh, do this fairly quickly all right so once you are done with your masks let's go ahead and go down here and change all these to subtract as well and uh, let me close out of that and close out of that stock footage now that we're using this composition we're going to re drag this down here okay so now you can kind of see what we have going on now if you hit s on your keyboard you can go ahead and drag this down a little bit so we'll bring this up to about right here and now this is a video so you can kind of see how the lake or river whatever you want to call the stream is moving because it is stock footage and you can download this off the internet um, if you just type in stock footage of whatever you're looking for forest or whatever it may be maybe you could put a beach or something but I was going going for more of a outdoor since it kind of had some trees looking shadows in here and I kind of desaturated this to make it look a little bit more old okay so let's go under water droplets and let's bring this in between here all right so you can see this is way zoomed in so let's hit S on our keyboard once again and drag this down now we're going to go draw tar toggle switches and uh, change this to add alright let's go ahead and turn off our stock footage layer so if you hit control D or command D if you have a Mac you can duplicate the layer and we're going to name our first layer left we're going to name our one in the middle middle and or one at the end right all right let's hit this switch back on again and our right and our left we're going to change to a 3d one all right so let's go ahead and actually this is on our right so we're going to go ahead and move this to our right bring this together and if you hit R on your keyboard, if it's not already up, you can 
bring up your x y z rotation now under our y we're going to my bad the y bring this in to try and map try and shake that a little bit better we go ahead and bring this up a little bit and our middle one um, whoops middle one looks looks about right probably about right there and our left we're going to do the same we're going to bring this in move this to the left side and hit R on our keyboard again and change this to the shape of that that's going to help sell the window looking effect now under our effects and presets let's go ahead and type in curves and I'm going to go ahead and bring this up a little bit so you can help see the definition in the raindrops is so you can see when we turn this back on we can bring these up even more all right we're going to throw curves on our stock footage as well i'm going to darken this up just a little bit that way you can see the water droplets all right and uh, let's go ahead and do the same for this I'm go ahead and drag this down make it a little bit darker and uh, I'm gonna type in hue hue and saturation and we're going to try and desaturate this just a little bit to make it look like it's kind of old ish but um yeah, that's the kind of vibe I'm going for but it's totally up to you guys depending on what you're trying to do but I was just trying to match this up a little bit alright so let's go ahead and uh, RAM preview this just to see what we have so far whoa it's crazy there we go my computer is just a little bit slow, so bear with me. Whoa, all that sound, that's from the stock footage layers. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. I mean, uh, we can render this out just a little bit more. But, uh, yeah this is this is really the type of uh, look I was going for and if you want to get a little bit more creative with this go ahead and green screen someone walking around down here or whatever you choose to do or you can kind of uh, do a matte painting and make this into a 3d layer and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I will be doing a tutorial on that within the next couple weeks so um yeah that's pretty much it for today guys uh, kind of a cool little effect here that I thought I would show you guys uh, if you have any questions on this feel free to uh, write them down in the comments below and uh, yeah that's pretty much it if you're not subscribed already go ahead and do that because I'm planning on posting a lot more stuff here in the near future well thanks for watching and have a great day